In this problem, a dissolved oxygen probe tracking an industrial discharge goes offline during a given period. During this time, the flow rate of the discharge was held steady at 5 mgd. A USGS gauge in the river upstream of the discharge measured the river's flow to be 30 CFS while at a temperature of 30 degrees Celsius. Another temperature probe downstream of the discharge recorded the river's temperature to be 34 degrees Celsius. Assume the atmospheric pressure is 760 millimeters of mercury and that this is a freshwater river and that the discharge has no salinity. If the river is fully saturated with dissolved oxygen, both upstream and downstream of the discharge, there is no oxygen deficit. What is the dissolved oxygen in milligrams per liter of the discharge? So this problem is a pretty straightforward mass balance problem. The most important thing we need is the reference manual table for dissolved oxygen concentrations in water as a function of temperature and salinity. The 24th occurrence of the word oxygen would get you to this table in the manual if you're totally clueless about where to begin and are just looking through all occurrences of the word. But it will probably be more helpful if you can at least remember that this table exists so that you can speed up your search for this reference. So aside from this minor curveball, all we need to do now is standardize our units and complete the mass balance as we would any other mass balance. So step one, we can convert 5 mgd to CFS using a conversion rule. If you don't remember this rule, you can also solve it longhand and cancel out all of the units. The reference manual also contains the inverse of this conversion, CFS to mgd, on page three. Now for step two, we can find the temperatures given in the problem on the reference table and look up their corresponding DO concentrations. The problem notes that we have no salinity, so we can use the values from the first column where salinity equals zero. So the river's flow upstream of the discharge is 30 degrees Celsius. The table tells us that the dissolved oxygen concentration at this temperature is about 7.54 milligrams per liter. Additionally, the problem tells us that the probe downstream of the discharge records the river's temperature to be 34 degrees Celsius. The corresponding DO concentration for this temperature is 7.05 milligrams per liter. So now that we have our DO concentrations, we can set up and solve the mass balance. So our discharge flow rate is going to be given as 7.74 cubic feet per second. And our temperature and our DO concentration is unknown here. The river flow was given as 30 CFS upstream of the discharge. And the 30 degrees gave us a DO concentration of 7.54 milligrams per liter. Finally, the problem didn't give us the flow, but we need to know that the combined values from the discharge and the river are going to be the combined flow here. So 37.74 combination of 30 and 7.74 cubic feet per second times our corresponding DO for our 34 degrees here is 7.05 milligrams per liter. Just to clarify, that goes there. And this is for here. And simplifying down this mass balance, we can find that x is going to equal 5.15 milligrams per liter, which is very close to our first answer here. So I should note that in this problem, if you solve in terms of temperature first, you're going to find that the temperature of the industrial discharge 
is higher than the upper limit of what the table covers, about 50 degrees. This is an answer on the test, as you can see here, which you might pick if you aren't paying close attention to your units. That's why we use the table for our known temperatures instead, 30 and 34 degrees, and then solved for DO directly after that using their corresponding values in the mass balance equation instead. If this happens to you on the test and you accidentally solve in terms of temperature first, don't worry, just solve the mass balance problem again after using the DO table first. And that's it.